Well, welcome back. Stocks are mixed this morning as we look ahead to the May Consumer Price Index out in about two hours' time. The Dow Industrial is down 64. S&P 500 down two and a half, but the Nasdaq is up right now. Uh, economists are expecting the CPI to be in line with April's number. Uh, that is a year-over-year rise of 8.3%. Uh, yields this morning are pulling back. Take a look at the 10-year Treasury right now with the yield uh, right around 3%, uh, down one basis point to 3.037% on the 10-year. Joining me right now is the Bonson Group Chief Investment Officer, Founder, and Managing Partner, David Bonson. David, great to see you. Thanks very much for being here. I know there's a debate underway on Wall Street on whether or not inflation is peaking right now. What do you think? I think on the goods side of inflation, it is peaking. But then when you start to see disinflation and that rate come down, it's still going to be at very elevated levels for the foreseeable future. But I think that an eight handle and a seven handle will eventually go away. The area of inflation that matters most right now to the market, the economy, and I kind of think politically, to be honest, is energy inflation. And that's a totally different cause than some of the other inflation we're seeing. Energy inflation is on the supply side, which means we could do something about it if we wanted to. Well, this is a very good point that you're making. You know on day one that President Biden canceled the XL pipeline and canceled all drilling on federal lands. And a lot of people say that that was the beginning of really a bubbling up in oil. Oil this morning is uh, is up, is, is right around, you know, uh, hovering around one hundred and twenty dollars a barrel. Take a look at where we are with the energy being up 30 percent uh, year over year. The price of Brent is up uh, two thirds of a percent right now at one hundred and twenty three eighty eight and crude is one hundred and twenty two. 21 up two thirds of a percent. But, you know, gasoline is at another high this morning, four dollars, 98 cents today, four ninety nine in some areas uh, and, and even higher, David. But if you're an investor, this has really worked for you. Look at Exxon stock hitting its first record high in eight years this week, uh, 400 plus billion dollar market value uh, on Exxon stock is up 71 percent year to date. Do you own it? Yeah, it's one of our biggest holdings, and we've owned it for a long time, and we're up over 200 percent from the lows of COVID. So the Biden administration has been the gift that keeps on giving to big oil because all their regulations are killing smaller companies. They're taking producers out of the mix, not allowing new projects to get completed. So what does that do? It bids up the value of the legacy incumbent players Chevron and Exxon have performed great, and they're two big dividend-growing holdings of ours. So you own energy. You also want to allocate capital to technology and retail after the big sell-offs that we've seen. Right, David? I know that you were looking at IBM and Kohl's. Tell us about that. Yeah, again, our technology is old tech, and so it's very different than the new tech that has actually gotten hammered lately, and we're still not allocating into FANG. You look at IBM, it's obviously about as old of a tech name as it comes, and it's actually up 7% on the year, but we just are very excited about what they're doing in cloud, in AI. You get an over 5% dividend yield right now. It's performed well. I mentioned Kohl's only because it's in the middle of a takeover play. We just asked added it recently, they have a bid right now from private equity to take it private at $60. It's trading at 45. We think that deal is going to happen. But if it doesn't, the stock's trading at six times earnings and has a 5% dividend yield. So we like Kohl's one way or the other. Wow, that's a great story. Uh, Brian Brenberg is with me this morning. Jump in here, Brian. Hey, David. Good to see you. I've been eager to ask you about the consumer, especially Hearing you talk about Kohl's, we've been talking about demand destruction. You're seeing maybe more inflation on the services side. Are you worried about the consumer faltering here and that leading into recession into the second half of the year? No, I'm not. But this is sort of a a tough question because most people believe the consumer drives economic activity, and I fundamentally do not. I believe production drives activity, and I've never seen the American consumer need to be told to consume. As long as they have room on their credit card, they seem to love consuming. And I do understand on the margin that if there can be demand destruction, but we don't see it yet. Even on the margin, we see demand alteration, not 
not destruction. There's sort of changes in consumer behavior. It could get to the point, Brian, where the consumer does back down. But really, wages and, and employment and right now are strong enough. That's not what I see as the problem. Mm. I'm more focused on the supply side of the economy. So I guess I'm, I'm kind of cheating here with my anti-Keynesian biases. But I, I really don't think the demand side is our problem. It's the production side. Well, it's, it's a good point, especially since we're watching the savings rate, David, because consumers have been going into their savings account. And, uh, and taking money out to be able to keep up with spending. But, of course, the Federal Reserve meets next week, and they are aware of all of that. And uh, you're expecting a 50 basis point hike on Tuesday or Wednesday? Yes, you can take it to the bank. They will hike 50 basis points at the next meeting, and I expect we'll get another 50 yeah. after that. The point where I think they start to chicken out is earlier than the rest of Wall Street thinks. I think that we're going to be getting another 100 basis points, and then it gets a little bit questionable. Yeah, the debate is on on September. David, it's good to see you. Thanks so much. Thanks, Maria. All right, we'll see you soon. David Bonson joining us. Your morning.